Hi everyone, Beltran Life here. So I'm back, it's been a while, but I'm back with another quick tutorial for the StarCraft II map editor. So today I'm gonna to show you how to force enable simple command card to be disabled and enable enemy unit selection to be enabled when people play your map. This way you're not dependent on the player's options configuration and the player can see the full command card and can select enemy and allied units without having to go into the options menu in the game. So this is a very simple trigger. It's two lines. It, it will make life easier for the player, ultimately. Um, I think this is really important and most likely should be implemented in, in all maps, as some players don't know how to manually change this, these settings. And even if they do, sometimes it's just a pain in the ass, uh, because oftentimes these settings get reset every time you test a new map. So basically we're going to use a trigger action called override player option. So open up your map, go into the trigger pane, trigger module, whatever you want. So what I did, I just created a, a subfolder under map initialization called game settings. And then what you want to do is go under actions, just right click, new element. And then we're gonna search for the that override player option. Okay, it's right here. Just press okay. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is the enable simple command card. So just override option. So it will be just um, have value radio button clicked and then search for enable simple command card. Okay. And then for triggering player, that will be set to one. So in that case, you just want to go to value, enter one, and then press okay. And then, uh, so you want that to set to the, um, the actual human player, whatever you have that set to. And then value, we will set this to disabled because we want the enable simple command card to be disabled. So again, just go to value, and then make sure enabled is not checked. And then it will default it to disabled. And that's it for enable simple command card. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing. So right click, um, new element, just search for override, player option, and then option value will be Enable enemy unit selection. Sorry, I just got a text. Press OK. Player triggering, triggering player value one. And then we are going to want to enable the enable enemy unit selection. So again, just go to value and then check the enabled checkbox. And that's it. So just save your work and then test the map and then make sure everything works. And that's, that's it. So what should happen once the map loads, we should see that the command card is already, um, it's there and we can select allied and enemy units. Break it down. So we have our command card, the full command Sell card me. shows, and we can select allied as well as enemy units. Uh, do you guys gotta trust me on that? And if we, interesting enough, if we go to options, gameplay, the player can't even, can't even change if even if they wanted to enable simple command card or enable enemy unit selection. So I really hope this brief tutorial is helpful. I think this should be implemented in every single single player campaign map. I don't know how many times I played a map. I've had to go in and change this after it started up. And sometimes it's just a pain so, I mean, it's two, two uh, triggers. It's super, super simple. And just make, it'll just make your maps more user-friendly. And that's it. That's it for this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope, it, hope it's been helpful, guys. And thanks for watching. Take it easy.